Good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers. It is Monday, July the 5th, 2021. This is episode number 240 of your three business tips at three o'clock in and around three minutes. Today, we're going to talk about solopreneurs, small business owners, your why level. We're going to discuss the stages you go through in your small business, talking about survival, status quo, and freedom. As a web developer with nearly 400 clients, I kind of get the inside scoop into how small businesses work. I deal with uh, solopreneurs, authors, all the way up to businesses that probably have maybe up to 30 or 40 employees at most. So I kind of get the pulse on how small businesses work. I get the opportunity to work with small business owners. I get to see the good, the bad, the ugly, and I get to watch them go through stages, especially dealing with, with startups. So there are multiple stages that you're going to go through in order to be successful. And I, as a small business owner, have de dealt with these stages as well. Matter of fact, I'm not quite to the stage three, which we'll talk about. But the first stage, which will be our business tip that we'll start with, business tip number one, is when you start a small business, you're in what I call survival mode. Survival mode is that mode where you are trying very quickly to get established as a business, you get it set up, and I think you should be focused very heavily on sales to become profitable. You are just um, probably as a business owner pouring money into it. You might even have investors or family and friends, and you are bleeding out money. You are trying to establish your new business, get it started, and get enough revenue in to just pay the bills, not even concerned about paying yourself. Um, a small business could go anywhere from, you know, zero to to a, to maybe as much as two or three years in this mode. You want to get out of this mode as quickly as possible. I think the best way to do that is you focus very, very heavily on sales, test out your idea on your products and services, sales, 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 survival. Then you enter what I'm going to refer to as business tip number two or stage two, the status quo. You can just barely pay your bills. Maybe now you're taking a salary. Your business is sort of paying for itself. You're able to pay the rent. Maybe you've hired a couple of employees. Uh, you're not in significant margin yet, but you are no longer bleeding money red. You are breaking even, or maybe you have a small amount of margin or profit. And by the way, I'm kind of in the latter stage of this status quo. I'm able to survive and do well and maybe have a little bit of growth. And for most small businesses, maybe this is all they stay in. Maybe they have an emergency fund. Maybe they're improving by five, maybe 10%. And the business owner can breathe easy a little bit. They're making payroll, all is good. So you have survival, you have status quo. And last but not least is freedom. From a small business perspective, this is where you're starting to uh, apply the multiplier effect. You've now hired a business manager. You are now working on the business instead of in the business. You're no longer a freelancer. You really are a small business owner and you are able to step away from the business a little bit. And if you put your systems into place, you may be able to step away from the business even further. You can maybe open new locations. You can franchise. This is your growth area. You're starting to see significant margins in this, and that's really the stage you want to be in. So I mentioned those because small business owners, what stage are you in? What stage do you want to be in? Are you still in survival? Are you in status quo? Are you approaching freedom? Those are the three stages, in my opinion, of small business. This is what I'm learning and studying. I'm trying to get to that freedom stage. Anything I learn, I throw over the fence to you because I want you guys to be awesome. Now go back to sleep.